Oh, it's you. Over here, over here. It's Sarah from the Good Hunter. Oh, finally, I caught you. I have something I'd like the Knights of Favonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the Acting Grand Master. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. Really? It must be a good feeling knowing Jean's got your back. Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh, yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just responsible for selling us the ingredients. <sighs> that would be great. Please, ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. Oh, help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Thank you. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles the bartender said he's been having some trouble too. Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way, in my opinion. What do you think this is, kiddo? A fruit juice store? <sighs> How rude! Especially since we're here to help! Help? Oh, yes. You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Uh, that's one way of putting it, but... Great. Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Jean takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. Paimon never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're certainly very lucky, but, to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Wow! How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? <sighs> when you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. I suppose I should give her one on the house next time she's here. Although, I doubt the acting Grand Master even has the time to spare for that. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. Come on, let's go and see Jean. Hey, you two. Margaret, what are you doing here? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? <sighs> this is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? But we're on our way to an urgent meeting with Jean. Sorry. You're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. Paimon thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? What's wrong with that? Jean's a really nice person. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. Hey! Hey! Ugh, unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean! <coughs> <clears throat> uh, acting Grandmaster? Uh. Oh, uh, Master Jean? Oh. oh, it's our honorary night. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well... Thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will... 
make arrangements accordingly. Great! We didn't miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? Sarah's hilly churls, Charles' tax return, Margaret's cat. Seems that's everything. We'll be on our way then, Jean. Jean, are you okay? How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise, though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? While the master is down, the knights should share her burden, no? That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do that? Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just me here. Paimon feels like she's trying to get rid of us. Why is that? Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's Kaya. I've been waiting for you. I have been informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. So courteous and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Now, in addition to that thank you message, there was one other thing. It's like you read my mind. We have quite a connection, don't you think? Things like helping to fill in for Jean? Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone else, I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. So I am hoping that you can help out where you see fit. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the Honorary Knight is personally overseeing these cases. You can flatter us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. There are so many things to... to prepare. <sighs> Fine, then. So it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret's stuff you want us to help with, right? Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See you later. Venti! So... Yours is the cat that went missing. Venti! Have you come to help? Me here to help you? Why, on the contrary. It is I who needs the helping. But Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free-spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small. Still, it's a bit audacious. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right. Indeed. <sighs> Just like Barbados. <laughs> yes, quite. Quite. <clears throat> now. Let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness, Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. What? These liar strings are made of astral iron, which contains animal energy. That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them easier to carry. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. The strings contain animal energy? That'll help us! It's time for you to use your elemental sight again! Paimon 
I'm sure there must be some elemental footprints or something. Oh, thank you all. Prints should be somewhere around the marketplace. It's a black cat you're looking for. Uh, oh, take this fish. It's little Prince's favorite food. Maybe it'll help you find him. <gasps> Prince! Where did you go running off to? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. We definitely had our work cut out for us looking for him. Oh, Princey, how could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. And here are your astral iron strings, Van T. You found them! <laughs> Wonderful! I was not optimistic they would turn up. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. Uh, 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 <laughs> Lisa, are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Cool. Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering... Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. If it's not too much trouble, could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? What's so urgent about this order? <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. So this where Charles's delivery disappeared to. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough. And all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by Hilly Charles. <sighs> if you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Fear not! My friend here is a Hilly Churl exterminator extraordinaire! Just as well. Then please escort this transporter to the end of the road. And be careful with it. Uh, just beating up the hilly churls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact because I certainly don't have the mora to replace them. I'll be waiting up ahead. Thank you, my friend. I thought I was in deep trouble this time. It's a good thing you showed up. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. Got it. I'll set off right away. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly churls on the delivery route? Oh. Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint. You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> really? You don't mind helping? Oh, that would be wonderful. You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful, too. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure he can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the Good Hunter's business. A fight? <sighs> for this dish, we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Okay, go and get ready. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, yes, right! 
Have you brought me three sweet flowers and three fowls? Let me see. Yep, that's everything. Now, order number seven is for one sweet madame. And so begins the story of us becoming basic kitchen hands. You did say you'd help Good Hunter out. Be sure to serve it while it's hot. One sweet madame received. Mmm, this smells absolutely divine. This is nothing less than what I would expect from a head chef, never mind a sous chef. Hmm, since you cook so well, you might as well take this sticky honey roast next. Sticky honey roast? Paimon's sure she's heard Amber and Kaya mention this one before. That's right, a mainstay of the Good Hunter menu. It's my pride and joy. The knights order it almost every time they come here for a gathering. Let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. Wait, didn't you say it's your pride and joy? You're going to teach us how to make it? Just like that? With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing a disservice to the Good Hunter brand. <laughs> this is... Wow! Did you really cook this? This is quite simply astonishing! You were born to be a head chef. Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes, thanks ever so much for your help. Amber should be able to take care of everything else. If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there'll be a job waiting for you at Good Hunter if you want it. <sighs> think we're finally with the commissions we were doing for Jean. A day in the life of Jean really is hard work. Wonder how she's feeling now. Let's head to the cathedral and pay her a visit. Hi, Barbara. We're back. Welcome back. You must be exhausted. Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. That's great news! Let's go and see her! But she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she wouldn't listen. She tried to act like she was fine and kept saying she wanted to get some fresh air. I bet you she's gone to Lady Vanessa's place again. Where? Oh, that huge tree at Windrise? That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thoughts? Jean, uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. That's what I'm worried about, too. But I still have work to do here. Don't worry, we'll take over nursing duty for now. Great. That puts my mind at rest. May the Animal Archon protect you. And Jean. Hi, Jean. Are you feeling better now? Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? The protector that Vanessa was. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster. A kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Lion Fang Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then, she founded the Knights of Havonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm. Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius Masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight or Lion Fang Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. 
You too want to be as gentle as the dandelion knight, and yet as fierce as the lion fang knight. Yes, I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, but I see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, it is a lot to live up to. Paimon thinks so too. Huh? Jean? Who's there? <laughs> Caught red handed. Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. How did they know about Jean's condition? Choosing this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. Hmm. Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be slipping away in a similar fashion. Stop! <coughs> After him! <coughs> Jean, you're still recovering. No, I must go after him. <sighs> Jean, you can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Uh, I do trust you, but to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. Fine, but at least let us go with you. Uh, thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help. Whew. Thanks to Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. The main thing is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Yes, I should at least go and thank Barbara again. I hope she is not upset with me. Master, you finally returned. The Animo Archon protects you. Swan? Were you waiting for me? Has something happened? Yes, at the Angel's share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... Um, okay, I know I said it's nothing big, but... All right, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting Grandmaster. Huh? Well, if you say so, Swan, I will go. I should not let the other knights down. It's fine. Now that I have had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. Oh, great. Thank you so much. You really saved me on this one. For goodness sake, what is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow. Now he's dumping things onto Jean. Well, Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Let's go and see what this is all about, shall we? Oh, what's all this? It's a thank you party for you. A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grandmaster, and you do so much work all over Mondstadt. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we'd take this chance to throw you a party. Enjoy yourself, Jean. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> uh... Jean? I... Uh... Huh? Is this Jean when she's... shy? I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... this is just all such a surprise. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things I still need to do. <sighs> Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every last task. Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? 
It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh, Master Diluc, I... All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Agreed. Now, let the party begin! It looks like everyone seems to be partying hard. Paimon thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Oh, and Paimon thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Hey, having a good time? The thing is, Jean knows all of us so well now. When someone organizes a surprise party for you, the closer you are to them, the more bashful you tend to feel about the whole thing. So instead, we just gave you all the credit. After all, you did do more than your fair share of the work anyway. Of course! This party was clearly Kaya's idea. Shy Kaya? This is gold! <laughs> you think so? So you admit it! <laughs> I'm only indulging you since it's such a special day today. Ugh, my word! The Tawn Winery's wine is every bit as delectable as they say! I would never be able to afford this normally. So, in the spirit of enjoying the moment while it lasts, another glass for the bard, please! Fenty can drink a frightening amount. Ah, hello! <laughs> I didn't see you there. I blame the wine for monopolizing my attention. <laughs> Much like my balance, it deserves to be enjoyed for generations to come. What is this floating sensation I feel? Have I discovered the true meaning of animal power? That would be the drink talking. I hereby declare that every son and daughter of the City of the Wind must be compelled to taste this finest of wines. <laughs> Here's the good wine! That's glass number 37. What's Diluc doing? I'm keeping count of this bard's alarming pace of progress through my wine. Only the knights drink for free tonight. It seems he didn't get the message. When he sobers up, I will present him with the bill. Diluc, you're a meanie. I'm joking, of course. I highly doubt he could afford it anyway, so I shall spare him the bill. But I must say, the sheer volume of alcohol this fellow can put back is just not normal. Oh, wow. Amber, you look like you're about to burst into tears. Whatever is the matter? Two things. One, this sweet madame. Two, this sticky honey roast. Did you make them? Mm, I refuse to believe it. Where did you suddenly learn to cook so well? I 
I'm going to finish eating this, and then you're going to teach me everything you know. Don't you dare try and run off. Hum, num, num, num. Has Amber been drinking? Leaving the hustle and bustle of the banquet behind them, the two of them stood there, together, in the quiet of the night, while the rest of the world melted away around them. Sounds like the sort of thing you'd find in a romantic novel, no? I'm not trying to get you to recite poetry to me or anything. I'm just saying, Jean went upstairs to the balcony, alone. Now's your chance. <laughs> <sighs> This is quite a lot of excitement, considering the idea was to relax and take it easy. Would a drink help you relax? Uh, is there anything without alcohol? What do you normally drink? Oh, you know, I normally mix a few things together, but I always add some bright red. Red? Let me guess. Tomatoes. No, watermelon. <laughs> Chilies. I add chili peppers. Chili pepper? In a drink? Oh, it is you. Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh. It seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion thing knight. The lion thing knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed knights of Favonius. Jean. Vanessa would be so proud of who you are right now. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. <laughs>